Hey, GED students, it's GED, GED question of the daytime. And once again, I'm doing a simple, simple concept that relates to something that students do not find so simple. So really want you to understand it while it's so easy. So let's take a look. It says, what is the distance? So I'm looking for distance between negative three and zero on a number line. Well, okay, let's draw it out. Let's take a look. You know, here's zero on a number line. And if I wanted to get to negative three, I'd go off to the left. I'd go off to the left. One, two, three units. That'd be negative one, negative two, negative three. Now, what is the distance? How far away are those? Remember, when you count distance, we just count. So one, two, three units away. Three units away. Notice I don't say it's negative three away. It's three units away. That's because distance is always positive. So they love to slip this in on the first five of the GED when you're not paying attention. They'll ask you a distance question. Half the answers will be negative and they'll have a number that's off on the negative side of the number line. So you'll go, oh, it must be negative. Yeah, no, distance is always positive regardless of what, uh, if you're going left or right on a number line. And so if I ask you about distance, your answer is gonna be positive. So what is the distance between negative three and zero on a number line? It's just three. Now this relates to a super duper duper important concept that almost always comes up in the first five. And that is the concept of absolute value bar. Absolute value. What is absolute value? Well, it's just this, it's exactly that. It is the distance between a number and zero on a number line and absolute value symbolically is done with these up and down bars. So if I were gonna ask you this mathematically, I would not want to spell, you know, mathematicians, we are too lazy to spell. We are not even trying to write out what is the distance between too much math. We'll say just this. This says the absolute value of negative three, or what is the distance between negative three and zero on a number line? And as you, t we already said, distance is always positive. And so whether it's a three or a negative three in these absolute value bars, it's just three units away. I end up with a positive answer. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.